Hey, welcome back to the Paper Pineapple. This is Diana, and I'm so glad that you're here today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I just wanted to uh, share my last three days in my October daily album. I'm sorry, I've been MIA. I just got a lot of things going on. My daughter just got her wisdom teeth removed, and it's just been crazy just trying to get her to, um, you know, feel better with all the swollen and all of that. And so it's just pretty chaotic here in our home. But I did want to share my last three entries. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I did share day 30 with you in the last video, um, the spooky movie night diaries. And then I have documented Halloween and I did end up using a 12 by 12, um, a project life uh, protector page of what I did. I just cut the top piece off and then I just made this a fold out or a flip out as they say. So um, here is our group, our um, family photo of us, um, my kids dressed up. My husband never dresses up. <laughs> and then I just use one of the little crowns that I did for the day of the dead um, on our trunk or treat. And so I just went ahead and used that. Um, I just put a little embellishment. I did use this, um, I think it's called Dark, Dark Night, I think, by Crate Paper. I can't remember. I'll have to I'll have to go back and check, but I think it's called Dark Night from Crate Paper. And um, here's a group picture. My uh, my sons, my kids trick or treated with the kids next door, and so we went with their family and our family, and it was pretty fun. Um, here I had a picture of you know the little different blow ups that they had, and um, again this is from the same collection. And it's gonna, it's gonna bother me if I don't know what that collection is called. I'm just gonna have to pull it out because it's gonna keep bothering me that I don't know what it's called. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's After Dark, <laughs> not Dark Night. After Dark by Crate Paper. These are the little collections. On this one, I just add a little tool and just added some little rhinestones. Just reminded me of my kids. And um, I'm happy that my daughter went out. She's getting to that age where she's too old to do things with the family, with the kids. So, um, you know, teenagers, but I was happy that she went out with us. Um, so my son, Harry Potter, Dracula, and then my daughter was a fairy, her and her bestie dressed up as a fairies and her friend was in green and she was in purple. Um, here I had the kids with all their candy stashes and, um, I did put in some journaling onto the picture. I use an app called Fonto. If you would like me to um list it down i will and i also use a different app also called pick frame and that's how i use um the pictures to do um, my three by fours and my four by six with the borders around if you'd like to know how i do that just let me know i'll probably make a video on how i use it um so yeah i just put trick or treat stat stats i visited 10 blocks just pounds of candy and they rate four stars so each one of them with their stashes and I did end up making this little uh, Frankenstein dip. Um, I just used blue corn chips and uh, avocado and I used sour cream and a little bit of olives and I decorated and made a face. And so I just put a boo to you. And so that was Halloween. It was super fun. We watched Hocus Pocus. We ate some yummy food and we called it a night. Um, so that was day 31 Halloween. And then um, I do document up to November 2nd. Uh, this is November 1st, and for November 1st, um, I, uh, the, I had gotten the kids some, like, sugar skulls and stuff, and so the kids painted their own, and, um, so we painted, and then we ended up watching Maya and the Three, that's like a new, um, cartoon series on Netflix, if you haven't watched it, it's pretty cool, and um, it kind of carries on the characters from the Book of Life, um, so yeah, the kids really like that. And so this card, I actually got this from a free printable. And uh, if I find it, I'll link it so that you can print out your cards if you're still working on your October Daily. Um, you can go ahead and put that as a as a journaling card. And so I just typed, no, um, stamped November. And I put a number one. I used different numbers uh, to symbolize a new month. So I want to make sure that that was, um, you know, put in to make sure that it wasn't October anymore. It was a different month. So, um, so yeah, these were pretty cool. The kids enjoyed painting and this was going to be used for our ofrenda. So then I wanted for November 2nd, um, 
I wanted to do something cool and so I ended up finding this cool cut file and I ended up using a transparent a transparency sheet and it was it was a little difficult I will say because it was hard to put in these little all these little details in it but I I managed it and I did use art glitter glue and it came out pretty well I really did I really did like how it came out my husband loved it of course because it had a mustache and it had a gold tooth last year I used a female so this year I put a male um and just because I was gonna we were gonna do um for the day of the dead we like to um, talk about a specific um, loved one that passed on and so this year it was going to be a male so I prefer to do a male one so that was pretty cool I had fun with that and then this one I ended up doing just a little flip up here I just used this pretty blue I used washi tape here to connect the two pieces and I used some pretty cool um, sugar skull um, ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree it was pretty neat so I wanted to incorporate some way and then I got another card from the same place that I got the other one. It says, nothing is more important than family. And this one says, never forget how much your family loves you. And those are both quotes from Coco, the Disney's Coco, the movie. Uh, such a great movie. It always makes me cry. But so I just use that as um, the cover page of this flip, flip up. So this flips up like this. I don't know if you can see it if you're in frame here. And so I did uh, put pictures of our ofrenda with all of our loved ones. And I put a picture of some pretty flowers that I happened to catch at this grocery store. And I did have a banner in the background. So I have a, a couple of uh, decor items that I like to set up for the first and the second. And then we all partake of the um, um, pan de muerto, which is um, Day of the Dead bread. And this is pretty important because it, it, it's actually a round bread. It's a sweet bread and it has like a special, um, I forget what it's called. I think it's called anise and it has like a special flavoring to it. Very unique than all the other Mexican bread that they have, that they sell at the bakeries. And they have these little round uh, balls on the top and they have like these little strips on the sides and so each of that symbolizes something. So the round part of the bread symbolizes the circle of life. Um, the round pieces on the bread is the teardrops of those who shed tears and then the long pieces on the bread symbolizes the bones and so it is very um, sim symbolic I guess to the meaning of the bread and the day of the dead um, celebration so um, this year I opted to get a different piece of bread. I had to go to a whole different bakery because where I usually go, it was all sold out. And so I went in a different part of town and I actually found it and it was pretty cute because it had like purple, like this purplish, um, sprinkling of sugar on it and it looked really pretty. And I feel like it re looked really nice with my flowers. So that was that. And so this year we, um, talked about, uh, Grandpa Dick and this is my husband's father and, um, we talked a little bit about that. My husband shared about to the kids about his father and he didn't know. My husband didn't know, but I was recording everything that he shared. And so I just typed up everything that he shared with the kids. And so I documented, uh, told by, cause he's a junior and that's his, 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 you know, he's a junior. So he has his exact same name as his father. And, um, so it was really special. It was really neat. Um, I showed it to my husband and my husband was really touched and he said, thank you. I didn't know that you were doing that. And so, you know, those, those are the little things that you want to uh, do to make these um, celebrations special is that you really make it um, an effort to, to uh, put in all the small little details. And so, yeah, I thought this was special. My kids didn't get to meet him. And so um, at least they were able to meet him through their father's words. And so, yep, this concludes... Um, my last entry of my October daily album. I'm super excited to have finally finished. I would have made this video a long time ago. Um, but thank you so much for um, joining me on this little October daily journey. And um, thank you so much for following along. Um, I'm hoping to film in maybe tomorrow or so a flip through of my whole album altogether. And so I hope to share that with you guys soon. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Thank you much for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next crafty video. Bye guys.